What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you can tell by the title of today's video, this is going to be a mini masterclass on how you can be getting reviews for your e-commerce brand, right? And the reason that this is so important as is with any brand online, there is 10 thousand of you, another hundred thousand brands online, whatever clothing brand, jewelry brand, cosmetic brand, it doesn't matter. Your biggest hurdle that you're going to have to overcome when it comes to selling products online is trust. Does your potential customer actually trust you and do they trust your brand and do they trust your products enough to actually get their wallet out, get their credit card out and spend their hard earned dollars with your brand and one of the easiest ways and one of the simplest things you can do to increase the likelihood of people doing that is ensuring that you're strategizing and utilizing social proof right and social proof can come in a lot of ways that can be ugc video content whatever the case may be but in today's video we're going to be looking at specifically how you can get more reviews for your brand and for your products online so before we dive in guys as always i would really appreciate it if you go ahead and hit that like button and share this with someone that might find this video valuable it really does help with the algorithm make sure that these videos get pushed to the right people and as always if you're interested and you need help with growing your brand link in the description to work with my agency or if you're an agency owner that needs help with growing their agency link to my inner circle in the description so let's go ahead and dive on into it guys one of the easiest ways for pretty much any brand to start acquiring reviews for your business is going to be simply inside of your post purchase email campaigns and this is actually going to be a little bit separate to your post purchase flows where you can also incentivize people to leave reviews but essentially the way that this works is we're gonna be building actual legitimate campaigns, segmenting specific parts of your audience and reaching out to them with a specific incentive to get them to leave a review. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is actually segment your customers, right? Obviously people who have purchased from you before. And I'll pull up a little screenshot essentially of the flow of the emails that you're gonna to wanna to build. Essentially you'll have that initial email that goes out, you know, essentially thanking the customer, providing them a link to leave the review, highlight the importance of their feedback, like like, hey, like how much you appreciate the review and how much this can direct decisions with inside of the brand. And then essentially you just wanna build a, a couple follow-up emails, right? Some people, most people are not gonna leave a review off that initial email. So you're gonna to wanna to be making sure you're following up with these people at least two to three times, and then perhaps eventually offering them some sort of discount code. Hey, if you do leave this review, we're, we're gonna go ahead and give you 20% off your next order, something along those lines. Just be careful with that last part because I know specifically for Amazon, that goes against terms terms of service incentivizing someone to leave a review. So, you know, be careful with that, but just understand that, you know, post purchase emailing is one of the easiest ways to get reviews for your brand. And so number two is going to be a bit more of a long winded strategy. This is going to require you to build basically a loyalty program where customers can gain points to actually use with your brand. This is a very simple strategy. It works pretty much with just the same with any loyalty program, except you're actually going to be requiring people, hey, if you leave a review, you can get X number of points per review that you leave, right? And so let's just say you're a cosmetic brand. Someone can go ahead and leave a review on your lip gloss, get points. Someone could go ahead and leave a, a review on your eyeshadow, get points, so on and so forth. And you're incentivizing your customer to not only leave one review, but to leave multiple reviews and for them to get, you know, actually something out of it as well. And simply when people sign up for the loyalty program, this is something that you can mention or as you start to build quote unquote affiliates or people in that loyalty program, you can just follow up with that information via email, you know, once a month, bi-weekly, so on and so forth, just to remind them. And then the last strategy guys is actually sort of a double-edged sword in a good way, right? So you can utilize basically giveaways as a way to get a ton of not only email subscribers, but again, when you're doing a giveaway, guys, the rules are up to you. So what I would always recommend here is, you know, define the contest rules, make sure you obviously have a clear giveaway on what that prize is going to be. But for people to join the giveaway, make them have to sign up with their email and either leave a Google review or leave a review on like a certain call to action. And basically you just want to do this on like a submission page. And this is such a perfect way to utilize a small review, $500 gift card, $250 gift card as a way to collect mass reviews and do this at least once a month. All in all guys, acquiring and incentivizing your customers to leave reviews is one of the most important things you can do as an e-commerce brand owner. And those are just three simple ways that you can utilize right now to start getting a ton more reviews for your brand and for your business. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you're interested in working with one another, links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next one.